Okay, in this video I want to calculate the standard free energy change for this, um, for arginine kinase reaction, okay? So, it says determine delta G for the arginine kinase reaction shown below at 25 degrees Celsius. Um, phosph it's phosphoarginine plus ADP goes over to arginine plus ATP. Okay, so the equilibrium concentrations for the reactants and the products are as follows. So I have um, phosphoarginine at 0.737 millimoles, ADP at 0.750 millimoles, arginine at 4.78 millimoles, and ATP at 3.87 millimoles. Okay, so the first thing you want to do with a problem like this is think about what equation you're going to use to uh, solve it. So from there, we know basically what we need we'll know what variables we need, what we have, what we need to solve for, etc. So the equation is delta G, this is a standard free energy change, is equal to negative RT, and that's the ln of K EQ. Okay? So that's the so that's the equilibrium um, constant here. That's the natural logarithm, temperature, and the gas constant. Okay? So we know the gas constant because R is simply equal to so R is equal to 8.314 okay so that's the gas constant and that's joules and that's over moles times degrees Kelvin okay so that's the gas constant and we also know the temperature so remember this has to be in Kelvin so this is kind of important that you remember that this is in Kelvin so if you don't remember how to convert Celsius to Kelvin all you have to do is add 25 to 273 okay so we have 273 degrees plus 25 and that gives us 298 degrees Kelvin so I'm gonna write that right here actually 298 and that's Kelvin right so that's our temperature, that's our gas constant, so the only thing we need is the uh, equilibrium constant and fortunately with this problem it's really quite easy we can actually calculate it. The only thing to watch out for in this problem, which I'll just point out ahead of time, is that these concentrations are millimoles. Remember moles is our standard unit so we want to convert all of these to, from millimoles to moles. So, and recall, if you don't recall, that the KEQ is equal to the concentration of products over reactants essentially so I'll just draw those as ARG for arginine because that's over here and the concentration of ATP right and that's over the concentration of P arginine so I'll just write phosphoarginine and also ADP right Okay, so that's that's the equilibrium constant. Like I said, we have all the necessary uh, the necessary numbers to make the calculation. So let's just plug it all in. So KEQ is equal to. I'm not going to do the conversions here. I'm sure you can do them. Um, if not, let me know, and I'll make a video about doing unit conversions. So that's 4.78 times 10 to the negative third for arginine and over here it's 3.87 times 10 to the negative third and that's for ATP right down here and it's 0 0.737 times 10 to the negative third okay and 0 0.750 times 10 to the negative third and the 737 is the phosphoarginine okay right there and the 7.50 is arginine and notice that in our original equation up here it's products arginine and ATP so arginine ATP over reactants phosphoarginine ADP and we have those right here so you can plug this all into the equation and what you'll get is KEQ is equal to 
33.5. I'm not going to make the calculation on my uh, on the calculator. I don't think it's important. Essentially, just plug these numbers in. Make sure you know you have enough parentheses and everything, and you should be fine to see that this is 33.5. Now it's really just a matter of plug and chug here because we have KEQ is equal to 33.5. We have the gas constant 8.314 and temperature of 298 degrees Kelvin. So the last part here is to just simply say that delta G or the standard free energy change is equal to negative 8.314 okay multiply that by 298 and we have the ln of 33.5 right let me get this on here properly so you can actually see what's going on. So this is 8.314. And then remember there's a negative in front of the equation, 298 and ln of 33.5. And what that equals is negative 8,690. And that's joules over mole. And if you want to convert that to kilojoules, you would simply divide by a thousand here, and you would wind up with negative 8.69, and that's kilojoules per mole, okay? So that's exactly how you calculate the standard for energy change for a reaction.